this is a presentation of a different approach to ordering pocket tools and viewing uh, digital tools. Uh, current site right now, the problem is we've got lots of tools. There's like over 70 and they're in two different places. And the list's gotten so long now that it's very, very hard to find a specific tool. So we have the order form here and we also have um, the uh, digital tools on the other side. So we've got duplication, it's hard to update, and it's hard for the user to find things. Uh, what we're suggesting is uh, a different approach, and this is a, a demo site we've got. Uh, obviously it would be colored and fonts would be matched up with your site. Uh, the approach is, the, it's combined now. The digital tools are combined with the pocket tools. And what's on the screen is we have a, a search area, which will search uh, partial words, if you were just uh, searching uh, walking, you could search for that. You could search for an ID number. And we're suggesting now that, it, that we number each of the tools just to make it easier to find and keep track of them. Uh, so as we work our way down, so obviously the search would give us the ability to, to bring back uh, and, and, and skip just going by category. We still have the category. And again, I've only input a couple into this uh, test system just to give you an idea. So you wouldn't lose that. You'd still have the categories, but you'd also have the ability to search uh, by keyword. So this is obviously the title of the document. Now we have the tool number or tool ID. Um, if uh, a digital tool exists for uh, an item and you click through, you'll get the actual digital tool. If there's a PDF, you'll get the preview. Um, and if you're available to order, you get add to cart. So these items on the second line here will appear depending on, on, on what options are set for each tool. Uh, the add to cart logic is similar to any kind of shopping cart. So we'll go click add to cart. And at this point, you set your quantity and it gives you your current cart and you can check out or continue shopping. So we'll go back and we'll order 15 of these. Okay, we got our cart now. We go to check out. And in this um, shopping module, we have the ability to um, obviously add the taxes and we'll have sort of a checkbox whether you want expedited or non-expedited. Payment options, and you can set it for if you like, you can go straight to PayPal and skip entering all the billing details below here. Um, you can go uh, do it by check or bill me later. Um, just for example, just to show you it going in a little further, we'll go to check and you get the uh, thank you uh, message and you also get the ability to have a printable invoice uh, order number, basically a printable order form um, and this could apply to the PayPal orders too so it basically gives gives us the ability to to uh, have a full shopping cart track through uh, the uh, the order on the back end side We've got uh, the ability, once you're logged in, it, it, the layout changes a little bit. And it's much easier to update. Each tool has a record in the database. So you upload your picture if you've got a picture for it, the title, the, the uh, category that it's under, and your tool uh, text. And if you've got an uploaded file, a PDF, and then you set your prices. So the nice thing is it's all in one place. Um, this one's actually a better example because I've got matched up better. So you can see that's the tool information. And down below we've got the uploaded PDF. So I think this would give you a much 
simpler way to do it. I mean, you, you could search, you can go by category, um, you can build up a shopping cart properly, and you can update it yourself without having to contact me. I think it's much, much easier. You know, you, you can sort it by using up and down arrow. It, it's just an easier way to do the whole project. Uh, end of demo.